Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, okay, for the combatsystem.com. I'm going to show you um, techniques that you can start using in MMA that I broke down uh, Fedor's, uh, Emelianenko's last two knockouts. And I think they're, they open up other techniques and the stuff you should look at. So I'll start with his last fight, his retirement, supposedly retirement fight against Peter Hizem. What he did was he landed a good hard right outside low kick, right in the low kick. Okay? And then what he did is he kind of did a spring, bam, knockout punch. Kind of like the Cobra Punch videos I've had. I'm calling this a crossbow punch. Because he loaded his weight, my left foot shuffled the right. Left foot shuffled the back foot. It's like loading a spring or drawing back on a crossbow. Potential energy. It's loading potential energy and coming forward, breaking rhythm. So what he did was a break, hard low kick, and then it kind of looks almost like it's going to be another right kick of some kind. So here, and then wham, breaks rhythm. Swinging back, swinging forward with that potential energy. So, I'm going to here. Kick, and move around. Wham! Hit. Okay? So it could be a straight punch, a cobra punch, or a crossbow. Uh, a crossbow 12 in my numbering system, this could be crossbow. Crossbow being the footwork to load. Or it could be a uh, crossbow 8, a rush long hook. You can practice that one on the bag as well. It could be here. Wait, this one. It's the outside long hook, rush long hook. And on the, on the bag really fast. Here. Shoot. Very hard. Breaking rhythm. It really breaks the rhythm. Or shoot. Okay? Um, so that was against Peter Hizzle. And then I'd like to talk about uh, Fedor versus uh, both Metal Olympian Satoshi Ishii, who I've trained with us before. Uh, against Ishii, what he did was exactly the Cobra Punch that I talked about in my videos. With his back foot not supported, like I've talked about Manny Pacquiao doing with his left hand. His right foot was off the ground. The fist went fast and explosive. Not cross turning ground at first, but the fist went here. His foot was off the ground. He did it twice against this, but then talking about the end here, he did this and it stunned him and knocked him backwards. So his right foot was off the ground, and he did the very fast cobra punch here, stunned him, and then here. So to take a step back and hit me. So it was here. That was the finished issue was a 12 Cobra Punch and then an 8 Russian Long Hook. So it's here. Okay, very fast. Come up here. On the bag, on the bag what it was, was a 12 Cobra Punch. And then, Ishii of course got stunned and moved back. Here, here. Okay, but the bag stays in. Of course, real people move back. POV style. It's that was the knockout issue. So these are techniques that Fedor Malianenko did, and this crossbow loading, um, which is also, you know, in Muay Thai sometimes I would teach how to load here for the power loading. So it's a way of like loading weight, making your body like a spring, potential energy tension. So you, you see that sometimes. That way, the crossbow loading into a cobra punch can be very fast and deceptive in breaking rhythm. Or against Pedro, low kick, and then here. Or it could be crossbow, brush long hook. Instead of just stepping in and going here, it could be there. You can see the that has pedal. Okay? So something, breaking rhythm, is going to get used more and more in MMA. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my page. Thank you.